Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to grade 4 mathematics class. Have you all finished all the activities from the previous class? Today, let's talk about estimations. So, in our previous chapter, we have learned about rounding of numbers. So, the word estimation simply means guessing the value of a calculation. So, how do we estimate a value? To estimate a value, first we will round off the given numbers to the nearest 10, 100, 1000 and so on and then to the required calculation. So, let's discuss how to find the estimated sum of an addition problem today. So, to find the estimate of a sum, what you have to do? You are given the addends in the question and you have to round off the given addends to the nearest 10, 100 or so on and then do the addition to get the estimated sum. So now, we'll see one example. You are given one question here. Estimate the sum of 43,525, 53,626 and 73,658 by rounding off to the nearest 100. So we are asked to round off the sum to the nearest 100. So for doing the estimation, first we have to round off each of these add-ins to the nearest 100 and then do the required addition. So let's see how we can round off each of these add-ins to the nearest 100. The first number, 43,525. To round off to the nearest 100, the rounding digit is the 100th digit. We have to check the digits at the digit to the right of the rounding digit. So it is 2 here. So we just change the tens and ones to zeros and keep the rounding digit as it is. So 43,525 rounded off to the nearest 100 equals 43,500. Now, what about the other two add-ins? 53,626 rounded off to the nearest 100 gives. Here it is 2. So, the rounded digit is as it is. So, it's 53,600. The tens and ones will be changed to zeros as well. Now, the third one, the third add and 58. That is, here in the tens place you have 5. So, what do you do? You have to add 1 to the rounded digit and change the tens and ones to zeros. So, 73 when rounded off gives, sorry, 73,655, 658, rounded off to the nearest, 100 gives you 73,700. Now, let's do the addition. These are the rounded off values. Now, to find the estimated sum, you are adding all the rounded off add-ins. Let's see how we can add them. Now, let's start with the ones. Here all zeros, here also all zeros. Now 7 plus 6 is 13, plus 5 is 18. A carry over to the next place. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. A carry over to the next place. 7 plus 5 is 12, plus 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17. So what is the answer? It is 1,70,800. Now let's see one more example. Estimate the sum of 32,425, 53,525 by rounding up to the nearest 1000. In this case, you are asked to round off the add-ins to the nearest 1000. So let's do that first. To the nearest 1000. So the rounding digit is the 1000th digit. The digit to the right of it is the 100th digit which is 4. That is less than 5. So let's keep the rounded digit as it is and change the hundreds, tens and ones to zeros. So that will give you 32,000. Now the next add-in. 53,525. Let's round this one. Here the rounded digit is 3 and the digit to the right of it is 5. So let's add 1 to the rounded digit and change all the other digits to the right of it to zeros. That will give you 54,000. So let's find the estimated sum now. So let's add the rounded off add-ins. So it's here it is 0, 0, 0 and 4 plus 2 is 6 and 5 plus 3 it is 8. So 
what is the estimated sum? It is 86,000. Now, here you have one question. Estimate the sum of 2,64,576 and 3,67,634 by, by rounding up to the nearest hundred. Also, find the actual sum. Now, here these are the add-ins and let's round off these add-ins to the nearest hundred first. So it is 2,64,576 to the nearest hundred will give you 2,64,600. What about the next add-in? 3,67,634 rounded off to the nearest hundred gives you 3,67,600. Now, let's find the estimated sum. So let's do the calculation in the working column, which is to the, which is the right margin, the right broader margin in your notebook. So you can do all the calculations in the working column always. 3,67,600. Now how do you add these numbers? Zero, zero, six plus six, it's 12. A carry over 7 plus 4 it is 11 plus 1 is 12 a carry over 6 plus 6 12 plus 1 13 balance 1 or the carry over 1 3 plus 2 5 plus 1 6 so what is the estimated sum it is 6 lakh 32,200 now we have to we are asked to find the actual sum as well so how do you find the actual sum just add the given add-ins like in regular addition. So how do we do that one? 2,64,576 plus 3,67,634. Now let's add 6 plus 4, it's 10. A carry over 7 plus 3, 10 plus 1, 11. Carry over 6 plus 5, 11 plus 1, 12. A carry over 7 plus 4, 11 plus 1, 12. Carry over 6 plus 6, third, sorry, 6 plus 6, 12 plus 1, 13. A carry over, and here is 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, it's 6. What is the actual sum? It is 632,210. Here, the actual sum is greater than the estimated sum. Now, we have been discussing on how to find the estimated sum of an addition problem. Now all of you have to go through estimating the sum in page number 25 of your textbook. Then you have to do the question number 1 and 2 of exercise 2.3 that is in page number 26. So that is your activity for the day. I hope the concept is clear to you. We will meet in the next class. Until then, bye.